Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play WWF Betrayal for Game Boy Color. You're probably wondering why on earth I'm restarting the game. Well, as soon as I completed the third video, I decided to not be a clever man and accidentally leave the game. So now, I have to put in a password in order to start back to where I left off. So 3124, press A when I'm done. And yay, we're still Triple H and we're on level 5 with 5 lives. Yay! So last time we started the game with Triple H this time around. We beat up The Rock. We beat up The Undertaker. And now we're going to Titan Towers to rescue Stephanie. And all the while I complain about how much I just dislike this game in general. And I lost my weapon because I did not expect that guy to tase me. Brilliant. So, now I'm kind of running out of things to say while I'm beating all these guys up. And I lose my weapon again. Mostly because of all the things I wanted to talk about, I basically used up in the last video. Especially how much I hate to hit stun. Being stunned when you have less than four units of health. Because you can never get out of it, and as soon as you try to get out of it, you're back in it. Or you die when you expect to be in it. Or you're in it so much you want to die. We're going to be nearing the elevator again. And guess what? All those feelings are going to come back. Also, those cakes and pies only give you like four or five units of health. Brilliant. So yeah, everything I said about the... How much I hate... Being in stun lock all the time. It really applies on this elevator. You can tell I do not like doing this very much. If this guy would stop punching me, that would be great. Also, the enemy enemies are a bit random here. Sometimes one only one of these two guys will show up. These guys with the really nasty long-range kick. And sometimes you'll get two of the uh, guys with the green hats. Thankfully, I managed to hit both of those guys with the pedigree at the same time, just through dumb luck. And I hope this guy will not kick me. I said, I hope this guy does not kick me. Wow, great, I'm getting two of these guys again. Oh my gosh, just hit him. Thank you. Oh, I have to deal with these two guys again. Oh, great. He just hit me right at the end of that kick there. Brilliant. Can you freaking hit... Oh, my gosh. I told you I didn't like the elevator very much. I absolutely hate the elevators. Because there's no way to replenish your health. And you never know when these guys will kick you while you're doing the drop kick, so you just have to deal with it and take it. And then these guys keep getting lucky shots. Like so. And already I'm getting close to stun lock again and again, again. And we're this far up on the elevator. It's always the guys in the black and red that kill me. No one else. And if this guy would not hit me, that'd be great. Ugh. Again, I am not a big fan of this section of stage five. And now I got two of these guys again. And the attacks never work well when I need them to. I can never get out of stun lock no matter how much I try, and I end up dying. Whether I want them to kill me or not. 
That depends on the matter. Most of the time, I don't want to be killed while in stun lock, but other times, I'm just grateful it even ends. Great! Two of these guys! Brilliant! I've already lost a third of my health. Because this game could have been so much better. Now we're down to four units of health again. And thankfully I was able to finish him off really quickly because only one of those two guys showed up. And I managed to do a pedigree on two guys at once, making this really easy. And thankfully, we stop right here. There's an opening to the right we just pretend to go into. And now we're finally on level six. That took almost six and a half minutes to do. Why it did, I don't know. And now we got this guy again. No weapon. Brilliant. And now this guy's shooting at me with his super secret briefcase gun. So now I'm here again. And I forgot to mention that these lady officers were office workers. Again, I cannot speak to save my life. I apologize. They're really fast. They do these really weird front flip kicks like they're Jeff Hardy or something. And they're probably the most annoying enemy that I keep meeting on here. Thankfully, if you can get the jump on them, just like the briefcase guys, you should be good. You should not have a problem. Now let's see what's in here. Good, and something that gives me more health than an apple. Let's grab this weapon, get this. Lose it for no reason. Fight another briefcase guy. Fight a taser guy. For a minute, I thought I was fighting two enemies at once there. Take care of that guy as soon as he comes out the door. There's a can. There's a weapon. There's the rock. Let's whack him in the... F like, so I was just saying to say, let's whack him in the face and not lose the weapon to him. But they really managed to get one hit on him with it. You can tell I'm not liking this game anymore. And of course, because Triple H and Mystery Man are allies here, Triple H is confused as to what is going on. Turns out Mr. McMahon gets on Triple H for acting like he owns the place. Well, technically he will in several years' time, but that's not the time nor the place for that kind of story. And apparently Mr. McMahon doesn't want us to have the title. So now we're going to have the fight Austin up on the rooftop, just as usual. Also, the climbing animation is still funny when you're not the one doing it. And we have to fight the Undertaker again, as always. Thankfully, he has reduced health. And this can be a quick fight if we need it to be. And it can be a quick fight if we don't die here. There we go. Now let's wait for this music to end so we can finally climb up the ladder here. Now we have to fight Steve Austin, just like we fought everyone else. The view never changes. 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and get on with it. And we do this as the Stone Cold Steve Austin music plays. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose all of my health here. And no, no, apparently I don't. As soon as I've got him back down to four units of health, and then hit him again and got him in stun lock there, I was able to beat the game again, thankfully. <sighs> so now we see the championship belt one more time. We hear this 8-bit rendition of Triple H's theme. And then we see the credits once again. Can I skip these? Apparently I can't. So you get to see these again! At this point, I played through two of the characters. I'm beginning to question my choices in life as to why I would want to play as all four for the purpose of this Let's Play channel. And my opinion of this game hasn't changed. As a matter of fact, I want to break the game in half if it was a physical copy, if I had a physical copy. I really would. How WayForward would make anything this frustrating, I honestly have no idea. Again, this isn't the, wor the, the first bad game I've played. I played through two games made by Manfred and Associates, Wizard of Oz and King Arthur and Knights of Justice. Those were decent compared to this. This, I'm just looking at it, I'm like, why? This could have been better. Especially with who is behind developing it. Like, did they only have a few weeks to make this game, or what? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you next time where I play as one of the two characters remaining. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!